Hi everybody, I'm back. <clears throat> Thank you for being with me briefly again on today. I have actually been posting about um, how the fact is that I plan to sue somebody one day. I have been uh, continuing to create the talking portions of Impromptu Neftis Musical. Uh, to detail the mood changes and all the things that I've been dealing with since the day of that bogus diagnosis in 1998. Excuse me, 1996. So, again, I've detailed everything that goes along with it, including, including uh, social isolation and the lack of intimacy, sex, touch, hug love and that kind of a thing uh, actually I am outside believe it or not CVS pharmacy uh, on last Sunday uh, my mother accompanied me to the emergency room the pain was so bad and um, the short version is that doctor recommended a specialist just like I had already uh, been told that when I was in Birmingham two years ago when this whole thing started but of course, I didn't have money at that time, and I still don't. But at this hospital, they recommended not only a specialist, but also a program they have to help people who do not have money. You know, I can't tell you how bad it is to need help and then not be able to afford it. I believe that's one of the major problems wrong in this country. I think there are countries out there like Canada that provide health care for their citizens. Even though, as a black person here, I'm not considered a, ci a citizen. We are still slaves, uh, in effect. But anyway, this program, on uh, yesterday I went, completed all the uh, application process, all the forms that they need, a notarized letter, uh, etc. And I'm awaiting, hearing uh, whether I'm going to get um, that coverage. And I hope I do. Uh, I have gone ahead and scheduled... Uh, an office visit which is going to be on Tuesday of next week uh, in the morning however uh, my my emergency visit on Sunday uh, led to me getting some uh, pain pills uh, basically hydrocodone aminophene or something like that I can't pronounce it uh, and oh my god I took that pill and I swear to God, it was the first time in two years I felt normal. You know, it makes you feel sort of like an antibiotic, clouded out or whatever. But uh, it has helped so much. I haven't used it as prescribed, but here it is uh, today. And um, the prescription is just about out. So I called the emergency room again. The doctor that I had there, it won't be back in until the 26th of this month. So, in order to get a, a re-up, I guess you'd say, on my prescription, I have to, I had to, rather, go in again today. And I talked with people, talked with uh, staff members, doctors, and this prescription was re-upped. Now, what I wasn't aware of, because, you know, I've been taking pain pills, ibuprofen, Motrin. Uh, today, one of the ladies there recommended Tylenol X or something. You know, I'm not big on pills, but, you know, people have told me all things about, you know, pain pills being, you know, addictive and all of that. But you know what? I don't give a shit because when I'm in pain like that, it turns me into a whole different person. Here I am today listening to some of these park talks and whatnot. I usually listen to them and hear which Bobby him and I watch. So I'll go back and review that. And I've been doing that and I like that. I enjoy that. But uh, on today, the doctor described to me the dangers of this medication and how addicting and addictive that it is. <coughs> uh, matter of fact, it's opium. Now, I studied, you know, pharmaceuticals in college, uh, but I wasn't aware that this hydrocodone, or however you say it, is an opium derivative. And so after discussing that with her, I decided that, you know, I'm thanking her for the prescription. You know, she had to go above and beyond uh, herself, really, uh, in order to be approved because people can become addicted. 
and I don't want that. I got enough issues going on right now, but I do want pain relief. So again, we decided that I would, you know, get the prescription, but go back to the Motrin and the ibuprofen, uh, and hopefully that'll help. However, I will uh, say again that I have been digging in there and everywhere I go, emergency room, whatever doctor, I tell them, you know, I've dug down in there and I feel a metal object. Uh, they claim that that's probably not possible unless I ingest it. Well, and I, you know, tried to speak a little about that, but you can't really talk on spiritual things when you uh, spiritual things when you're talking to a Western medicine doctor. You know, they're pretty much cut and dry about everything. Uh, I was able to get an X-ray, the X-ray that they sent over to the specials that I'm meeting on Tuesday, and uh, I wanted to see it, but the lady had already sent it over to him. So when I speak to him on Tuesday, you know, I'm going to lay it all out there, uh, everything that I have gone through, because if I get a proof of that program and able to have and am able to have surgery I'll be so happy but they'll have to cut in into my body I have never had anything like that done and it really terrifies me it's really given me a little more sense of compassion for my dad's two heart surgeries he had to go through I can't imagine what that might be like before during or after uh, he's better now but uh, I, I, I feel strange especially in that area where my uh, root uh, chakra, sacral chakra, my genitalia, and all of that is, you know, just having to expose yourself in that way. This thing has been horrific. I learned something I wasn't quite aware of, that acute hydrogenitis suppurativa, which I had been told was like a pimple inside the rectum, is the, uh, how do you say, inflammation, infection of a sweat gland. Some people get them under their arm and other areas of the body. Mine just happens to be in that area, which I would say is the worst place you could have a problem. And uh, even uh, after surgery, sometimes it comes back either in that area or other areas. So I was like, what the fuck? And I wondered if, because I used to play a lot of tennis, you know, sweating a lot, running back and forth, if that has something to do with it. But I do now know, do now know that it is a bacterial infection. But those um, several uh, antibiotic prescriptions that I had, you know, reduced the size of one of these lumps, but it did, it has not healed. And so I am hoping that I can have surgery and I don't have to live like this. You know, I've gotten to know my butt hole far more than I ever wanted to, ever thought that I ever would. Again, I never used that part of my body as a sex object. And so I'm still wondering why I got this. So it seemed logical for me to think it was a spiritual entity attack. You know, sometimes online you say things, you get in a... Um, uh, argument with someone and sometimes you know people do all have all manner of special abilities and they attack and so of course uh, I mentioned the other day about electronics in the home and sleeping at night and protecting yourself I'm continuing to do that it seems like this thing is about to uh, expire I wanted to talk all about Terrence McKenna uh, occult sciences uh, ayahuasca, all those teachers of his online are most excellent. Do check those out, as well as other teachers who teach occult science. Everybody doesn't have to be black that we learn from. Uh, we just have to know how to realize when they are fudging the truth or missing, uh, leaving out the truth and not telling the truth of our place in everything, which we are a part of. I am Dr. Demi Q. Lester, a.k.a. Kabir Amin Ra Ampu Asar said Harakti, the country's Dr. Rainbow Warrior, healing in Montgomery, Alabama. Thank you. Bye-bye.